sometimes, guys, we have to look at the past in order to understand what might the future bring for us, in this case for Greece, but also for Turkey, for example. And Turkey is getting scared more and more, and they're preparing emergency plans for not only a tsunami that could be triggered by another big earthquake at Santorini, but also by a volcanic eruption. Because this is not singled out scientists in Turkey that are saying we could see a volcanic eruption at Santorini. These are their major institutes for meteorological offices and stuff like this. They're saying this, and that's why the government is preparing for ashfall that could come with that, tsunamis, and of course the shaking. And why am I saying let's look at the past? Because they have found the remains of the 3,600-year-old Santorini volcano eruption in Turkey. And it's mind-blowing what they found. But in light of that, why are they so scared right now? Well, look at this picture, the red rings. It shows you how widespread the last series of magnitude 5 earthquakes was felt. We had like four I would say five, the USGS has the last one at over five. Um, University of Athens, where I'm always looking at my live pictures, has downgraded it to 4.9, but it's in that range, right? So in just two, two and a half days, four to five magnitude five earthquakes, and you see it was felt widely along the coast of Turkey and in Athens, and of course, in all the other islands around Santorini. It was felt in Athens, it was felt in Izmir, on the west coast of Turkey, while they're already preparing their emergency plans for a possible eruption. So the quake was, according to reports, at a depth of 17 kilometers, and it was followed hours later by more high magnitude quakes. I have reported about this. Check out the video on the end screen. So. So far, none of the quakes has caused any major injuries or damage, but what the Turkish authorities are saying, it's a stark reminder that the seismic activity around Santorini continues at full force. And over, over 20, 21,000 earthquakes have happened there in the Aegean Sea between January 26th and today. So that is really, really crazy. So the cluster is basically in the region between the islands of Santorini, Amorgos, Ios, and Anafi. And all of these islands are on alert. Alert level has been declared. We've already seen landslides and rock falls off the cliffs of Santorini, and there's an alert that more of that could happen. And, you know, this is an island. I wouldn't even call it island. This resident describes it pretty well, so listen to that before we continue. When you are at the epicenter of the earthquakes and you know you are on a volcanic island that has fragile ground, it's more frightening than being in another part of Greece where the epicenter will be further away. Yeah, makes sense what she says, right? So it's Santorini is actually the remains of a large volcanic caldera following a major eruption like roughly over 3,500 years ago. And uh, there have been reports that just as a side note, because we've seen this in Iceland, tourists seem to be, if they're on vacation, there's no danger for me. That's kind of what they seem to think because there have been pictures published um, where you see tourists trying to take photographs standing on the cliffs in the middle of the earthquakes. So like standing, being shaken, like, ha ha ha, I'm still standing here. I'm not, I've not fallen down the cliff yet. So they're putting their lives at risk. This is really, I have to say, not the smartest way to do it. And uh, seismologists in Greece, they do not rule out another major earthquake. So for a few days, seismologists thought they, they or had begun to show some optimism that these earthquakes were decreasing in intensity, but nope, they are now concerned that the earthquakes are actually getting worse because we're seeing over magnitude five. And if you look at these recent graphs, they confirm it. We see the shift. There's more in the four range and there's more in the five range. 
they think a major quake is possible. And that is a region that has not experienced a seismic swarm with that intensity since the records, the seismic records began in 1964. So this is really unique. Professors of the Aristotle University of Thessaloniki are saying that it's likely that these quakes will continue at least for February, maybe even longer. Uh, they're hoping, they say, let's hope for gradual progress towards de-escalation. Doesn't look like it right now. Because the Turkish people say this is just a precursor of a potential volcanic eruption. Most experts in Greece, and that's stunning because this varies from other countries, Germany, Britain, um, also Turkey, they're saying something different. But in Greece, we hear, we hear that these earthquake swarms are attributed to plate tectonics and to the several active faults in the Aegean. But many scientists in Turkey are warning that that what is happening on the island could be a foreshadow of a volcanic eruption. And I have reported about that. You should look at these videos. Check out my playlist. Um, you know, it's simply a fact that Santorini sits on top of a large volcano that last erupted in 1950, but not that devastating as it did in like 3,500 years ago. Um, and right now, Turkish experts and authorities are working on the possibility that, or trying to work out a plan, what will happen if the Santorini volcano erupts? What are the implications of that? And they're taking measures uh, for the arrival of a potential tsunami, clouds of ashes, uh, and gases on the Turkish shores. We don't really hear that so much for Greece. Um, the question is why? I don't know. They have also installed more seismometers at the Colombo underwater volcano that is only four, kilo four miles off the coast of Santorini, basically in the area where we see the current seismic swarm. So it would be interesting to have more results from there, what's going on, because we know there's a magma chamber that is filling up, has almost the same fill amount as when Colombo last erupted, and Colombo can be equally as bad. So let's get back to what they found in Turkey about the past huge eruption of Santorini. They compare Santorini to a supervolcano because it can produce really, really powerful eruptions. And there were excavations that were carried out, you see it on the map here by archaeologists, at the Bagla Rarazi area, a site um, in the Chesme district of Turkey's Izmir province. And they have uncovered remains and clear evidence. And that's so cool, guys, that this was really found of the devastating eruption of the Santorini volcano um, that has completely devastated the Aegean coastline and led even to the destruction of the Minoan civilization. So that's why I think it's correct to be really worried and it is, both Greece and Turkey have been concerned in recent days about this unusual phenomenon, how they call it, about this wave of earthquakes that has been shaken the Aegean Sea since January with their epicenters very, very close to the Colombo volcano, an underwater volcano with a main cr crater, but also several craters. So northeast of Santorini, Terra in Greek. And listen to what that scientist here has to say about this earthquake swarm. It starts with not the big magnitude, around magnitude four. And then it swarms, it has, it gathers intensity, seismic intensity. So we have a lot of earthquakes happening within one to two hours. And, and that's basically what we see. This is how they're coming, right? So the government in Athens has declared the state of emergency in the face of a possible major earthquake. Would that cover preparations for an imminent eruption of the magma chamber coming from the magma chamber bit underneath an island that that is Greece's most touristy island? So far, basically two out of three inhabitants have fled the island. So it raises the question, shouldn't there be an emergency evacuation mandate right now? 
Um, in my opinion, yes, guys, let me know in the comments what you think. But let's talk about this excavation site again at Baklararazi. It's almost 4,000 years old, this archaeological site. And it's today located next to the Chesme Marina. It's the oldest on the Chesme Peninsula, and it has allowed historians, and that's fascinating, to shed light on what was it like in a Bronze Age city, port city, on the west coast of Asia Minor. That's how it was called. And since 2001, they started their excavations. It was supported by the Turkish Ministry of Culture and Tourism. These studies and these excavations uncovered evidence of what was one of the largest natural disasters in prehistory, the Santorini eruption. In 2012 and 2013, they found volcanic ash debris and evidence of a tsunami at that site, also coming from Santorini that has reached the Turkish coastline. They also found a buried skeleton as a result of that tsunami and they discovered that in 2017. So it's ongoing. They're calling this tsunami one of the largest and most destructive tsunamis in history. And that says something, guys. That says really something because, you know, we remember there were quite a few devastating uh, tsunamis in the recent past, in the last 20 years. And what they also say about the Santorini eruption, it's perhaps the only natural event in human history whose traces can be followed, like disastrous, mega disastrous event, because the impact of that eruption was so enormous. And now given that this eruption occurred even back in the days in one of the most densely populated regions of the Mediterranean basin, it was a disaster, guys, that took place at the height of Minoan maritime power. And it has wiped them out since then. So when that Santorini volcano erupted, of course, the ashes rose into the atmosphere, hiding the sunlight, making everything dark. And then they precipitated. So that's why. This ash layer was detected in a layer located in the Chesme Baglararazi deposit. And here it comes, it's stunning. The same ash layer was also found in an excavation in Egypt. So this did provide a unique marker that allowed the scientists and now us to look directly back at this same instant in history. What has happened? How far reaching was this instant? And what the researchers are trying to make us understand, this excavation site at Baglararazi is the only place where both remains of the volcanic ash layer and the tsunami caused by the great eruption are found. Historians also call that eruption the Minoan eruption because obviously it caused the destruction of this civilization. So it's great. They see evidence of this tsunami and the forces that have been unleashed by this tsunami caused by the eruption of the Santorini volcano. They did find ash in previous geologic samples, but no tsunami remains had ever been found. And that's why this is so interesting. And their conclusion is this was a this was an event that probably resulted in the loss of thousands of thousands of people in towns along the Aegean coast. Despite being away 227 kilometers from Santorini, the tsunami, or they call it even plural, that tsunamis completely destroyed the settlement at uh, Chesme Baglararazi, rendering it in uninhabitable. And we know when we think of tsunamis today, most of us think of Japan or Indonesia. We don't think of that area, don't we? But one of the largest and most destructive tsunamis in history occurred in the heart of the Aegean, on the island of Santorini, following the eruption of its volcano.
And that's why this is so closely monitored. And that's why I'm keeping you updated about this, guys, because the earthquakes keep coming between Amorgos and Santorini. And uh, the stress is high. We still don't know what is really 100% causing it. Researchers from Germany and Britain said we do have the evidence that this is volcanic, magmatic, caused by fluids. So I think time will tell. And I'll be on the pulse with you guys. So if you're new here, please subscribe. If you like the video, leave it a like. If you want to support the channel, check out the links in the descriptions where you can buy me a coffee or two or become a member of the channel for behind the scenes stuff. Uh, there's playlists. So check out these videos. If that appeals to you, become a member and join our wonderful group. And until then, guys, yeah, always check your surroundings and where you go. Well, there might be more natural disaster potential than you originally think. Who would think sitting on Santorini in one of these beautiful white houses with beautiful views over the water in your swimming pool with a cocktail, would you guess what a destructive force is underneath? Well, guys, that's why I'm here for you. I'm telling you that. Thank you. Bye-bye.